I don't blame him for calling folks idiots. I really don't. And obviously, you 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 want to refrain from engaging in name calling in all seriousness. Uh, but I definitely think if you're Kobe Bryant, you could say that with a smile on your face. But as vicious as those words may come across as being, it's definitely apropos. This is a five-time world champion who has done it time and time and time again. You do not count out the Black Mamba. Now, if you want to sit there and say he's not going to jump as high as he used to or he's not going to run as fast as he used to, that would be different. But to sit there and say or imply that his game has dissipated to such a degree that people will imply that he's done or that 39 players in the NBA, uh, I'm sorry, that, that 39 players in the NBA are better than him, as far as I'm concerned, whoever, whoever said that about him, indirectly, quietly, uh, off the record, whatever the case, they are idiots. I know he ain't talking about me. I can tell you that much because there's no way in hell I'd say that there's 39 players on the planet better than Kobe Bryant. The skills are just too sublime. They're too real. When you take into account the sport of basketball, what it entails, fundamentals, footwork, basketball IQ, understanding the game, knowing how to get to the free throw line, knowing how to use your body to create contact. It ain't just about having a handle or a jump shot or jumping over everybody. All of these things come with playing the game of basketball. And there are very few people that we have seen in the history of this game that understand the nuances of playing basketball better than Kobe Bryant. There is no way in hell that there are 39 <laughs> players better than Kobe Bryant in the NBA, in Europe, or anywhere else. I don't care. You can't find 39 players on the planet better than Kobe Bryant. It is simply absurd, and he is absolutely right to call anybody who believes that an idiot because they are. Hmm. Okay, just point of reference here. I think we're possibly confusing his response. It wasn't to Chris Broussard's anonymous quotes about he's done from, I don't know, personnel directors or GMs. I think it was directly in response to being ranked 40th. And when he said, I've known for a long time, they're a bunch of idiots. He was talking about the, play the, the players or whoever. No, 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 no. He's talking about the panel of experts at ESPN.com yeah, yeah. that ranks him because they ranked him, what was it, 25 last, last year. Yeah. So he says, I've known for a long time, yeah. they, the panelists, are a bunch of idiots. I don't think he's calling whoever Chris Broussard quoted. Uh, uh, yes, whatever they are, yeah. GMs or personnel yeah. directors or scouts or whatever they are, idiots, because... I'm going to take what Chris wrote, even though they're anonymous. I'm going to take those to the bank. I think there are at least two people out there that I would have respect for who believe that Kobe is done as we used to know him done, as far as he, he'll never be close to being that guy again, the Black Mamba, Kobe, all caps, you know, K-O-B-E, Kobe. That guy... I, I don't know. I told you yesterday, I am waiting and seeing. I've told you many, many times, I read far more into the NFL preseason than I read into the NBA preseason. So I saw some highlights from the Utah Jazz scrimmage that they had last night. And a couple times, Kobe put on a couple moves on guys, looked okay. I have no idea. I'm not going to read into it because teams don't try very hard in NBA preseason games. we got to let the real ones start. And then I'm going to say it again. The most debilitating injury any athlete can ever suffer is the Achilles rupture. And how Kobe will bounce back from that on top of the, the knee break that he had or the whatever it was, broken bone near his knee, I don't know. So we need to see when the real games start what he is. Could he well, end up being about 40th ranked? He could end up being that way. I, I think he can still score 20-some points a game. He might have to do it, as I've but, said before. He might have to be... The Wizards' Michael Jordan to do it. And that was a ground down Mike. You remember him. He just did it on guile I, and strength. Okay, can you do that? I don't know how much it helps your team I, to do that. I, I, I remember a dial down Mike that wasn't clearly the Michael Jordan that we knew and loved. You couldn't tell me there were 39 players better no, than I him. I agree with even that. Even at that fact. juncture. Yeah. You know he he that, was 20 and, that, and, and that, 6 and his last point. year. Average 20 and 6 that, rebounds. That, and, and that, and, 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 but that's my point, Skip. 
if the measuring stick was Michael Jordan's greatness compared to what Michael Jordan was as a wizard. We had a right to be critical from that perspective yep. because there was a flagrant level of dissipation that we saw. But to sit there and then ter- interpret that as meaning there were 39 players better than Michael Jordan, that would be blasphemous. And that's what I'm saying about Kobe Bryant. Yep. Kobe Bryant is Kobe Bryant. This man plays on both ends of the floor. You got guards in this game who can average 20 a game that can't guard that, that can't guard a dude playing against them with hands tied behind their back. I mean, come on now. When you look at Kobe Bryant and the game of basketball, we talk about these panel of experts, and I'm not trying to sit there and call anybody idiots. I'm saying Kobe's right to do it. Yep. Not that I would be right to do it. I would call their decision about that idiotic. But that doesn't mean they should be denigrated and none of their opinions in regards to anything else should be taken seriously. I would never disrespect my contemporary like that. But I am saying, as a basketball guy, I love and appreciate greatness because I don't get to see it very often. And I don't just look at Kobe Bryant putting the ball in the hole and judge the totality of his skills and what he brings to the table based on that. I understand the game. And when I look at Kobe Bryant, this dude is elite, and there is no way there are 39 guys better than him. And to sit there and watch the game of basketball, I mean, tell me that Kobe Bryant might get hurt. Tell me that he may miss X number of games because of the ACL injury or or the Achilles, rather. Mm -hmm. I get that part. I understand that. But to sit there and to say that even if Kobe Bryant was 100% this year, that there would be 39 players in the NBA better than him? In what world? Forget the NBA. On the planet, you can't tell me that there are 39 players okay. in this world better than the Kobe Bryant we've been watching for the last 18 years. 